Do you want to know how to sell more books on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing? Well, there is one surefire way to do it, and it's not keywords. It's not about categories. It's more about marketing and promoting. So we're going to be talking about book marketing in today's podcast or broadcast. So stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author as well as a self-publishing advocate who wants to show you how to publish books that sell. And if you want that too, of course, subscribe. And join me over on twitch.tv slash self-publish where I do a broadcast every Monday at 12 p.m. And you can actually subscribe for free with your Amazon Prime membership. You get a few extra freebies in the process. Wow, so here we are. One of the biggest and hottest topics is how to sell more books on Amazon Kindle. Uh, we've got to kind of backtrack just a little bit. Is The common problem with the lack of book sales comes through a few things. A lot of people rely on organic sales to really generate profits. They expect to publish over through Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing thinking, okay, I published through there, I'm not making any sales. Well, what are you doing for marketing? Nothing. I, I, I've got all the right keywords, I got all the right categories. I got a few reviews on it, why, why am I not getting it? Well, you're trying to rely on organic sales. You're relying on Amazon to do all the heavy lifting. You're relying on external factors and external forces to drive your business forward. And quite frankly, it's a bad business strategy. You can't just simply publish and pray for the best. You really have to do book marketing. And there are few exceptions. 99.9% .9 of the people that are watching this video need book marketing. There's a 0.1% of people that are just the unicorns of the business. They can publish things on there and they profit hand and fist, but they are the exception to the rule. Everybody else, everybody else needs to be doing book marketing. That is the reality. So why don't we just go ahead and get into five, five ways to sell more books with book marketing. And, um, you know, so there's a variety of ways we can do book marketing. And uh, obviously this is not an exhaustive list, but this is going to be a good starting point for you. So I'm going to start it out with number one. I'm going to start it out with interviews and appearances. And this one right here is not going to be something that's going to directly move the needle. I know Julie Broad from Book Launcher shares that getting out and, you know, pushing your book is a good idea, but rarely did she ever experience going to say a news and media appearance did she see her book sales skyrocket. Um, and I can really agree with that. Here's the thing though, is the more times that you can be seen, the more people are aware of your brand. And the beauty of it is if you get say booked on a podcast or on a YouTube channel, you're creating assets with your face, your, your likeness on there, your brand that will passively work to raise the awareness of your brand. So um, I've easily done for the self-publishing with Dale channel here, I've easily done, I would say, probably 48, you know, maybe, maybe five dozen or so uh, podcast and YouTube interviews and such like that over the past few years. And it's so funny that every now and then I will get someone say, oh, I discovered you over on Helen Kenson's Merch Money, or I discovered you on a LinkedIn interview on Professor Nez's channel. Uh, so this is what I'm going to recommend that you do as well, is get as many interviews and appearances. Right now, at the state of the world and what it's in, I'm going to tell you this, that there are a ton of podcasts a ton of live video streamers, a ton of YouTubers that are actively looking for guests. Do not rest on this. This is a great time to build awareness of your brand. All right, so next one, number two, free book promotion sites. This is kind of crazy. Now you can go for book promotion sites like BookBub works really, really well, but there are actually a ton of free book promotion sites. I know that Tom Corson Knowles has an, an exhaustive list on his website over at tckpublishing.com. And also Dave Chesson, the Kindlepreneur, has a deep list of free book promotion sites. And a lot of these sites work like this. Some of them, they're going to promote your free book promotion that's on Amazon Kindle, but some of them will also promote your book in general. How do they function if you're not paying a dime to them? In most instances, 
What they're doing is they're promoting your book on their website and they're putting a link to your book through an Amazon Associates link. So here's the nice thing is they will get you, they will get other authors to promote the appearance on their website, drive traffic and build awareness through that way. And then when people click on the given link, the website makes a little bit of a kickback. Now, not all websites do that, just saying as a for example. So don't rest on free book promotion sites. Now that I'm thinking about it right off the top of my head and I'm not being paid to t tell anybody this, it's a great read. It's called the Book Reviewer Yellow Pages. It's a 2017 edition. I would love to see something uh, that's more updated. It's the ninth edition, so I'd imagine that eventually David will end up updating this. But this has got a great resource of some free and premium services. So highly recommend. Go check that one out. I'm sure I'll cover that in a very future video. All right, so number three. Remember, we've got five, so stick around. Number three is book reviews. Oh, yes, we need social proof in order to really start to entice and get it to where we get people to make an informed purchase. And that's why book reviews are important. I think a lot of people have mixed up what I've shared before. And when I say getting book reviews shouldn't be all that your business is about, but it does need to be part of your business. You need to find ways to get legitimate reviews put onto your book. And that it would be, of course, by you know maybe through your email newsletter that you just ask your followers to drop a review that you share reviews and have people maybe comment on those uh, either way getting reviews is still a good part of your business unlike back in the day between i'd say 2010 2015 you could just put in a ton of reviews and it would just raise your book up to the top of the charts it's not so much anymore. It's, it's, it's an integral part, but it's not the only and critical part of your business. But uh, when it comes to getting book reviews, don't overcomplicate things. And the other thing is, do not, do not ever do review swaps. Don't do review exchanges. Now, if you've never heard of review swaps, it essentially is a quid pro quo system in which you contact another author, and that author will exchange your book for their book and you will put a review on there. Sadly, it is considered a biased review and Amazon is really diligent in cracking down on people that do review swaps. There are some people that go to an extreme where they hire virtual assistants to do it on their behalf. I'm going to promise you that if you try to play with fire, you will get burned. Uh, I got burned back in July of 2015, actually it was June 2015, that uh, my entire privileges were revoked for me for doing review swaps. And I knew better, I shouldn't have done it. It was not something I'm very proud of, um, but nonetheless, it, it really hurt. And who knows what kind of long-term repercussions that will have on my KDP account. Are they actively banning people's accounts for it? No, but you know, uh, who knows what they're gonna decide later on down the line. But either way, get legit book reviews. That's really what it comes down to. And you're just going to want to make sure that you're just getting out there and marketing your book as much as possible and just making a very light call to action in the back of your book. If you've just finished reading this book, it'd mean the world to me if you left an honest review at xyz.com and you direct them over to your Amazon page. Alrighty, number four, Amazon advertising. It is a pay to play world, folks. And those of you that are willing to invest a little bit of time, energy, and attention, as well as patience to learning the Amazon advertising system, then it will pay you off in dividends. And can you expect to make a ton of profit using Amazon advertising right out the gate? No, no. Those of you that do right away, kudos to you. The vast majority of you, you've only done it for say a couple of weeks, say six weeks, maybe even three months you're still new, all right? It's probably gonna take you anywhere from about six to 12 months for you to kind of figure out this whole system. I know it seems kind of defeating. You're like, oh man, I really don't want to like, you know, spend that much money. Okay, the very first thing is, if you're gonna use Amazon advertising, start low. Start low, use manual keyword ads. You're gonna do your cost per click very low, 10 to 15 cents per click. And you're going to do your ad budget any, anywhere from about a dollar to no more than $10 per day. It just depends on how much you have. You are not gonna get very many impressions at first. Why? 
because the higher, more profitable keywords are being bid on at a higher level in more relevant titles. Instead of you trying to fight for relevance in an auction for a keyword that's out of your financial reach, it's better you go for the low hanging fruit. Go for the lower bids, some of the crazy keywords that you wouldn't think would convert may just work for you. Just try it very low. And as you start to pick up momentum, you start to see more conversions from one given keyword at say 10 cents to 15 cents cost per click. Here's the nice thing is you can take that keyword, try to figure out a root keyword of that, find it in your list and increase the bid on each one of those low keywords. And you'll start to grow this nice list of high performing keywords. You're going to take those high performing keywords, put it into something like say Publisher Rocket and build up derivatives of it. Put a new campaign together with a thousand keywords and those high performing keywords, increase your bid, rinse and repeat. You'll see that you're going to keep going and keep going. And as you start to build, you'll start to go, oh my gosh, this makes sense. So are your first couple of campaigns going to be any good? Probably not. You're going to have to chalk it up to learning the system. And I would recommend that you get with other peers in the industry so they can help you out with Amazon advertising. And maybe they can help poke some holes in your campaign and figure out where you can improve or tweak things. Alrighty, so uh, before we do get into the very last um, point here, and this one's actually one of the best ones. I saved it for last for good reason. Want to let you know, of course, today's live broadcast is brought to you by Fiverr. Today's video is exclusively sponsored by Fiverr. The Fiverr Book and Ebook Store is the ultimate home for developing, perfecting, and publishing book length content. Many people feel they have the next big book inside of them or want to attract new leads and engage your audience with an ebook that educates and converts, but many have trouble turning their vision into reality or simply don't have the bandwidth to write a 50 page ebook. That's where Fiverr comes in. New technologies can enable anyone to publish with so many self publishing platforms plus the ability to go straight to an ebook. But making a book or ebook is an overwhelming process. New technologies can enable anyone to publish with so many self publishing platforms plus the ability to go straight to an ebook. But making an ebook or book is an overwhelming process. There are so many steps, and having an idea is the first one. Fiverr's all in one platform provides everything you need to go from concept to a finished and packaged book. The services in the store follow the logical order of a book's life cycle. To get more details, hey, go on over and visit dalelinks.com slash Fiverr. That's F-I-V-E-R-R, two R's because it's double good. Again, dalelinks.com slash Fiverr. Alrighty, looks like I'm putting my subscribe screen back up here. <laughs> Not sure why I did that, but let's just go ahead and run with it, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead into point number five here, and this is really, really something do not rest on, and that is email newsletter swaps. Now, I think swaps has kind of got a bad name, and especially if you hear me say review swaps already, you're like, oh, oh no, 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 hang on, you said swaps are bad. These are good. These are 100% white hat. So what happens is you will get with somebody else, another author within your industry, within your niche that has an email newsletter and you will have your email newsletter and it's kind of a quid pro quo based system in which you share your content, your offer, your book in somebody else's newsletter and vice versa. Now you don't give the reins of your emails, uh, your email list over to somebody else. You're going to do the work for them. So all they're going to do is say, Hey, I need you to, to uh, promote this book. It's released on this date. It's this price point and you go ahead and put it on in there and they're gonna do likewise the same thing for you. So think of it like collaborating. I'd like to kind of think of it like email newsletter collaborations. Now there's a variety of sites that you can get started on when it comes to email newsletter swaps. Uh, one of them for sure I already know is uh, Story Origin. If you ever get the opportunity, Evan Gao is a sweetheart of a guy. It is still in beta and it's free to use, but at storyor.com in orange.in so um, just go ahead and google up story origin newsletter swaps and you should be able to find that resource 
There is um, some other places you can do it as well, like uh, in Facebook groups, there are some that will do e email newsletter swaps and uh, quite a few others. And I'm sure I'll probably be talking more about this in the coming weeks because the entire month of April on Saturday's live broadcast, I'm gonna be talking about book marketing and promotion. And I'm sure I'm gonna devote an entire broadcast to email newsletter swaps. And uh, so that was the five five ways to promote your book. What do you think so far? What are some of your preferred methods and what are some of the methodologies that you say, ah, Dale, that doesn't work? Definitely would love to hear from you. Uh, you should go ahead and take a look at this very next video where actually I'm gonna talk a little bit more outside the box uh, book marketing strategies, promotions, and tools that you can take advantage of. In fact, it's an entire video series. You're gonna really enjoy this. Take your time through this bite-sized bits because there's a lot of information in this video series. Till later, I will talk to you folks. Thanks.